first period. Back on the line to Beckman. For Waite. Into Sillinger. For Doug Wade, a shot. He scores! Top corner. And it's one zip. That's a huge goal right there. Only seven seconds remaining in the five on threes. This was a goal the Blues had to get here. And good movement. Doug Waite went down low. Looked like the pass was gonna go to Kachuk, but instead it went back to Wade and he just blasted this one right through the traffic, up over top and Leclerc never saw this at all. Was this deflected at all or not? But that's a big goal. Weinrich likes it in the blues. Power play one of six. Here's Sillinger for Kachuk. He'll set up high. Now for Waite to Sillinger. A chance save. Off the goal post. Rebound is score! Weinman, his first NHL goal. And the Blues go back on top. Dennis Weidman is one of those defensemen that loves to come in and help and pinch into the zone. And he came in from the back door. You'll see there he is. He's standing down low. This puck ends up hitting the goal post first. And then the rebound comes back out. Keith Kachuk got it. Then it goes right to Weidman. And he's able to knock it in. But there's the second rebound that came out. So Weidman gets his first goal just after Velasta gets his first NHL goal. The Blues regain the lead two to one. On for weight. Deep by Gertzik. Now to the net for Kachuk. Big rebound. Another chance. They score! I think Gamash, his first goal in his first game with the Blues. We talked about Gamash before the game. He likes to go to the net. He loves to score. And he followed in a couple of shots. This is good work again, set up by Doug Waite with his great speed down the right side. Little shovel pass to Chuck, the one save there, the second save, the third rebound actually right to Gamage, who is parked on the far side of the net, and he cashes in his first as a St. Louis Blues, his second career goal right there, and the Blues have a two-goal lead. Power play. Here's the shot from Weidman. These shots are getting through, and this is a competent power play. When you're competent on the power play, you usually end up getting a lot of shots on goal. And there's a very example of Keith Kachuk shot. Rewarded, he's two assists tonight. All the goals have been scored because he's been right in front of the net, and now he's rewarded with a goal of his own. His second of the year on a great play by Beckman, and Kachuk just one time it into the net, and the Blues lead 4-1. Good movement, and this is a nice play. He faked the shot. There's a nice little pass. Leclerc sliding from his left to right, wasn't able to get those legs closed in time. And Kachuk redirects it. We've talked about the, ab the absence of Keith Kachuk for so long now. That's 18th power play now. Two lane advantage. Now Berard, wrist shot toward the net. Goes back to Ron Hainsey now for Berard. Berard trying to work in. Hainsey lets it go. Blocked by Drake. Who leads the Blues with close to 30 blocks on the year. Third most in the league. And does he sacrifice his body? Now Berard again. Herdina throws it right through the goal crease. No one there. Hainsey out high. 110 to go in the five on three. Now for Berard to Hainsey. Break goes down. Now a shot right on. And a save by the lane. Now Berard a shot blocked again. Hainsey a pass to the corner. And Erdina fires it back. Here's Berard to Erdina. Berard whistles one wide. No better off on this five on three. Yeah, That's a surprise. I'm surprised. I can't believe that, that this. You've got to have your best players on the ice when you're on a five on three. Back to Hainsey again. A shot. 
And that's tipped wide by Milosztik. Now Barrar lets it go. Blocked again by Drake. Blocked again by Drake. What a shift. The Blues have paid the price tonight. Another chance. Salvador blocked it. And the lead will carry up. What an effort by the Blues. Well, how many times do you think Berard's going to get his shot blocked tonight? <laughs> Dallas Drake is sliding every time, and Berard has buried his head, and he's been able to slide right into the stick. But here's Berard, number four. Look at this. There's the shot. Now he's going to get it back. Now, you know, you got to move it, but no one is going to do it. He shoots it right at Dallas Drake again, so he might have got hurt during this period as well. And knocked away by Laleen. Five to go. And that'll do it. The Blues break their seven-game home losing streak, and the fans at Savas finally have something to cheer about. Tonight's player of the game is brought to you by Budweiser. Keith to chuck a goal and two assists. We talked about how important he is to this hockey club. He's feeling better. You can see his ribs are better, and he's skating better, getting back into the flow of things, and he deserves to be the player of the uh, game today, and I, I think we're going to see a lot of that. I think he's going to really provide so much of an edge for the Blues on the special teams, and with the healthy Keith Kachuk, this team can, is going to play a lot better. So the Blues get their fifth win of the year, break a seven-game home losing streak with a convincing 4-1 victory. The final shot's 44-26 St. Louis. Our next telecast Thursday, a week from tonight, at 6 o'clock on FSN Midwest as the Blues take on the defending Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning. That's the story from St. Louis with a Blues win. 4-1 news is next.